Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail and thank you for joining me here at Tulip Mania, one of our most popular displays here in the gardens, currently being held in the Flower Dome. In partnership with the Embassy of Kazakhstan in Singapore, this year's Tulip Mania floral display traces the origin of the tulips as a rare wildflower in the steppes of Central Asia. Follow me as I bring you on a journey to the steppes of Central Asia to discover the unique cultural heritage and architecture of Kazakhstan as well as take in the beauty of the tulips, which have come to us this year from New Zealand. The foothills of the Tian Shan Mountains, located in the territory of modern-day Kazakhstan, is considered to be the first place where tulips appeared for the first time. On display this year, we have two varieties, Residence, red with yellow-edged petals, and Timeless, which is also red, but with white-edged petals, which resemble the bicolor tulips found in the wild of Central Asia. Displayed in our tulip valley over here are oriental carpets and rugs woven in the rug belt where Kazakhstan lies. The carpets in Kazakhstan date back to the 4th and 5th centuries in Turkestan and they are often made from sheep wool but they can be made from the hair of goats, camels and even yaks. The dyes used to give the carpets the vibrant colours are made from plants and vegetables. The red that you see over here is made from the madder root, the blue from indigo and the yellow from the rinds of pomegranates. The territory of the modern Republic of Kazakhstan is positioned in the middle of the ancient corridors of the Silk Road. As merchants travelled across the expansive steppes, caravanserais were built to provide rest stops, and these eventually turned into settlements and later city centres with marketplaces for the trading of goods, services and information. Silk, tea, spices, Horses, dried fruit and nuts, and textiles are just some examples of commodities that were commonly traded. While the Silk Road was known for its trade of goods, what was also prevalent was the exchange of cultures in these regions. Merchants brought art, architecture, languages, philosophies, and even religions, as well as the tulips themselves, along with them on their journey on the Silk Road. The structure over here is inspired by the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasfi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Kazakhstan. Commissioned in 1389 by the King Timur, the founder of the Timurid Empire and dynasty, the building still stands in Kazakhstan today. Timurid architecture is characterized by its grand scale buildings, which are covered in intricate blue and turquoise glazed tiles. The blue tiles represent water, while the turquoise tiles represent the clear Kazakh sky. And finally, we've come to the center field where you'll see this beautiful cross section of a yurt. The yurt was kindly loaned to us and constructed by the Embassy of Kazakhstan here in Singapore. A yurt is a portable, easily transported, sturdy dwelling that helps protect the inhabitants from the elements outside. These yurts are designed to be transported by pack animals, including camels and yaks, and can be erected in a matter of hours. The interior decorations of the yurt are inspired by traditional geometric patterns, while the furniture, such as chests and tables, are made of wood and are intricately carved, reflecting the nomad's appreciation of the beauty of nature around them. I hope you've enjoyed the short preview of Tulip Mania 2021. Check out our display from now until the 14th of November. Thank you and see you soon!